What's up, everybody? This is Adrian. If you need anything web scraped, email me, adrian at thewebscrapingguy.com. Taking on new clients, I build custom web scrapers for clients and build some things of my own. And this is one of those things. So I wanted to scrape all of the Chrome extensions on the Chrome store. And uh, this is how to do it. So Google is a little bit harder to scrape in the that their responses aren't just straight JSON. It's like really mangled and crappy, but uh, not impossible by any means. And uh, this is a great example of, of something to scrape. Like it's uh, kind of tough, but not too bad. So anyway, we are on this page, like the categories extensions. And I think they expose all of the extensions. And yeah, this is your friend. Anytime you see something like load more then they are using some sort of fetch to get that. So you want to intercept that. So like, as always, we're going to go to the network tab here and then see what happens here. So they have that batch execute that was just ran. And if you look inside of here, yeah, then you'll see boom. So it looks like the extensions are here, but obviously like this looks super crappy. So you do have to clean it up so it, it is a nice JSON response. But as you can see, like, yeah, the information is located in here. And I think I could clean this up even more. Like if I copy this and mm, yeah, it doesn't look like it necessarily is like that. But you can see all the data is in there. So you just need to get it out. Blah 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 blah. And don't let it intimidate you because you can do it. It looks bad, but it actually, there is some method to its madness. So yeah, you can do it. You can extract it. So playing around with this myself, if we look at the payload, so obviously, okay, it looks like lifestyle and entertainment is the category that we want, but how do we paginate is the big question. And a lot of APIs will, you know, graciously, they'll just say like page two or something, but some APIs, and in this case, this API, they'll use um, like cursor based to cursor based pagination. Yeah. So if you, um, oh, wow, these guys are first crazy. Look at that. Wow. I am shocked doing great on SEO. But um, so yeah, you can read about that if you'd like to learn about cursor based pagination. But what they're going to do is return the ID of the last item or like the ID or, or just some sort of cursor. I think usually what the cursor is, it's like the ID, but it's hashed or something like that of the last item with like maybe some other things. Anyway, they just return, you know, a cursor that you just need to pass in to the next request. So here it is right here. This is the cursor. And then on the next request, or so, so no, on the response, this is the cursor right here that we're gonna use for the next request. So as you can see, it looks like a little bit similar, QVR, AW. So if you look in the payload, okay, QVR, AW. and the last character, so like PTO equals sign is going to be different, but the first few characters are the same. Mm, what do we got? Response. So yeah, as you can see, it's not the same token. So then if we further paginate, let's see, let's save. Let's see if this works. I don't know if it will because of all the different characters that get messed up. But if we go here, I believe in the payload to NS. Oh, look at that. It is the same. Ba -ba -ba. Look at that. So then what we need to do to paginate to get all of these items is to find those cursors. Um, yeah. And 
we also need to obviously like JSONify this and figure out how the freak we need to clean that up. So first to get the first page though, there is no fetch XHR that has the Chrome extensions. So I believe like you can use this and if we wanted to, okay, let's do all of them. Refresh. And if we search for, I just did command find volume booster. Then that is going to be returned in the HTML, like in this page right here. And we don't want to preview. And if we look for the cursor, so just spoiler alert, I think it's called like uh, next cursor. What is it called? Hmm. Next token. Cursor? One moment. Token is JSON. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I guess we don't call it anything. Okay, so I forget uh, if that's called like next token or whatever, but um, next cursor. But anyway, so we have to find where that data is coming from, like the volume booster. And if we search for it on this page, we can see like, oh, it's it's the same request, and you can see the ratings right there, so four point seven. So you know that that's the ratings, and then this is the number of reviews. So it's just an array. So not as challenging. That's like the image as it may seem. And then we have the uh, token right here or the cursor, whatever. So all right here. So the data is all right here. So instead of fetching this via fetch request or like XHR, then it's just stored right here. So what we need to do or what would be really super awesome is to just grab this script and turn this into JSON. We'll first just grab it. So to do that, and I actually have it right here, get extension first page. So if you haven't heard of this got scraping Chrome, uh, not Chrome extension, uh, NPM package, then I highly recommend it. It is amazing. And the proxies that I use are um, storm proxies. So they're really cheap and they don't charge bandwidth. So you can use it as much as you want and it charges you the same thing and really, inexpensive for a few proxies, um, which yeah, I highly recommend them. They're great for the most part. And the proxies work really well. The residential uh, on hard ones, they won't work, but for our purposes, they will. So the URL is this URL slash categories, and it's just, yeah, this, so pretty easy. And then, yeah, we want to use Cheerio to um, parse the HTML and then the best thing that I could do to find the script tag. So all of this is located within the script tag. Obviously there's a bunch of script tags. So we want to be able to find this, this exact one in particular. And I think I actually should have said side channel that might've been better, but doesn't really matter. So where text includes, uh, these are the images to the Chrome extensions, but anything that's unique, obviously that's what you want. Uh, so then we now comes like the real pain in the ass is parsing everything and splitting everything. So what we want to do is get this array. So the problem is we have to like get this array. So obviously like this is just a string when it comes back. So we need to turn it into JSON or just a JavaScript object that we can use. So to do that, then I am splitting my data. And so why am I doing that? Because I'm taking the, the first item or the month item or whatever. So we want to get rid of all of this beginning part. So that's perfect. We want to split by that. 
and then we're splitting again by side channel to get the uh, to get the middle. So you're getting the two halves of it, and then taking off the last character because it's like yeah, the, it's uh, I don't know, one of those characters. And then to actually get the JSON, you want to eval it. And maybe I could log this stuff. So eval, you can't JSON. So normally you would like JSON parse it. So it's JSON.parse. And the reason you can't do that is because the string, the parsed string, is actually just uh, JavaScript. And the way you know that is there's no like double quotes. So this would have like double quotes around it for JSON, like right there it does, but it needs it around like everything. So anyway, you just need to use eval and turns it into a uh, JavaScript object, which is perfect. I mean, JSON, it's like the same thing. Actually, that JavaScript object notation is what JSON stands for. So there you go. Uh, let's see if I can print out the JSON Chrome extensions. Boom. That's exactly what we want right there. Oh, what is going on here? No. Chrome extensions. Yeah, right here. So obviously it looks pretty funky, but this is this is good. So this has the array that we want. Obviously, uh, we can see this better if we uh, maybe I'll just do it. Get Chrome extension. Let me get the first page. So if you go like fs right file sync, and I do like test.json, this is what I do for everything here. And then we return so we don't go anywhere. Boom, perfect. So we go test.json. So as you can see, then this these are all of the Chrome extensions that we want. So it has like Quillbot and the ratings, whatever. And as you can see, like it's pretty funky, but it, everything is in an array. So as you can see here, like it's insane. They nest it deeply, but everything is really consistent. So you eventually find this array. And then um, the zeroth is the ID. First is the image. Second is the title and so on and so forth. And you can figure everything out. So then, yeah, you just need to do the pain in the butt process of figuring things out. So that's the next token is the second zero. And then, ba, 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 ba. so the array with all the data, then you have to like uh, index in a ton of them, ridiculous. And then to JSONify, then this looks intimidating, but you're just mapping. And then you have to, like, you're getting the zeroth item. And that, that's the actual item. And then uh, this is some, you don't need to worry about that. And then, yeah, you're just saying like exactly what I said. The ID is the zeroth item, name is the second, yeah, avatar is first, I'm not recording any of that, blah, blah, blah. And then you just, yeah, make it JSON. So if we uh, log this, log JSONified listing. then it looks pretty nice. So then you can actually do stuff with this, obviously. Oh. And you have the, we have the next token as well. So then what you do, so we have the next token, so that's perfect. Then we need to get this request, boom, we got it. So then you just copy as node fetch, copy as node fetch, and then get uh, the second. And then you paste, which is what I did right here. And then I don't think we need to do anything with the URL, but for the body, so you'll have all of this menagerie, but as you can see here, so this is the payload, this is what's going to be in the body. So you need to change this for the category. And then I was able to figure out that, let's see here. Ba, 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 ba. It gives you like more items. 
one of these things is the count variable. Hmm. <laughs> Category 22. Bah, bah, bah. Actually, it's 150. Okay, apparently that's in the search, which is different. But you can actually increase the count. So if you're searching for extensions like right here, then you can increase the count uh, to be 150, but apparently you can't do that here. Anyway, let's go back to get Chrome extension. Let's get all listings, get second page. So all you need to do then is just pass in that token. So you have category and then pass in that token and you can see where the token is it's supposed to be right here. Boom. And uh, yeah, just figure out where it's supposed to be, interpolate, and uh, that's it. And then you do have to do the same thing as far as like um, a little bit easier. But you need to do the same thing where it's like we need to get this array. And like so cut off all of these strings, get that array, and then JSONify it. So what I'm doing here to initially get this JSON is like I'm subtracting. So I'm starting at like this end index and then continually subtracting and like JSON parsing until it works. Uh, yeah, but you just need to figure out how to do it <laughs> is the skinny and simple of it. All Chrome extensions. And what I, what I'm saying is you just need to figure out it. You just need to like, it, it's just like a manual process, kind of brute force your way to figure out how do I, um, strip all these characters and, uh, JSON, like JSON to parse this or eval this. Uh, so get second page, blah, 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 blah. So apparently JSON to parse works right here. Yeah, apparently it works right there. Maybe because it returns, I don't know, return JSON there. And then you JSONify the listings, which yeah, apparently is the same exact thing. So you can use that function over and over again. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you just plug in the different categories. And I think if you do the different categories, you'll everything will be fine. But you can also um, use this search if you want to get more. So then if you want to use the search, you just see what is fired off there. Um, let's just say, like, let's use a real one. Like email. And you just pay attention to those. And so, okay, pay attention. I think it was like this one. Yeah, it looks like that was it. That's the one we wanted. You look at the payload. Uh, yeah. So that's the category. And then that's the pagination. So this can go up to 150. So instead of just getting 10 results, you can get 150 by changing that number right there in the pagination. Yeah, to the 10 to 150 to get 150 results. And then do the same thing. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. If you need anything else, web script, email me, adrian at thewebscriptingguy.com. Or if you have any other questions, you can book a consulting call with me. Um, it's 200 bucks, half hour. But if you need some help, then happy to do that. Thanks.